So the first card uh, that's fallen is about letting go. So there was a difficult situation that you went through and it is time for you to now let go and move forward and stop looking at the past, trying to move away from that past. Um, you need to let go of all those emotions that you uh, went through. Um, this is a period of soul awakening for you. So you can see that there is somebody that will be coming in for you. But this is a period, the reason why you maybe you had to go through the situation is because, uh, you know, it is a lesson of soul awakening that you needed to go through uh, you know you maybe you needed to connect with yourself maybe you were giving too much in a relationship and um, this is the reason why you went through all these difficulties there's a victory card over here so you are going to be successful in whatever you um, are going through so you will be able to uh, you know overcome uh, a difficult situation and there is victory for you here so in the past, you know, you may have, um, you've got the nurturing card over here, so you may have been spending a lot of time with family or looking after somebody. There's the card about nurturing other people or even nurturing yourself and, uh, you know, maybe spending a lot of time by yourself as well. You've got a reflection card over here, so you've been looking a lot about the, uh, looking at the past a lot, maybe trying to get some hope and inspiration as well from whatever the events that happened uh, in the past and you're trying to move forward, but, you know, thinking a lot about what has happened in the past. Now, going into the future, you've got the intuition card over here. So, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself, but also needing to rely on your own instincts and your own intuition to move forward. And you've got the fortune card over here. So things are about to change. It looks as like there's some kind of abundance coming in. And maybe, you know, you've got the wheel of fortune over here. So you will be meeting a lot of people, uh, maybe a lot more social uh, events coming up for you. And you know, maybe where you've been spending a lot of time, you know, in an energy that is very stuck or where you've been feeling depressed, it looks like uh, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in for you and this is going to be bring in big changes. So relying on your intuition and also making some uh, of plans for the future. Start having an, a vision again. If you've lost your vision, you need to go back into yourself and find that vision. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in uh, to your life and that is going to change things it's probably going to bring in a lot of people a lot of social contacts for you so those are the energies for those two weeks so this is the symbol on deck i'm going to use this to do the general tarot read this is not a, a tarot deck as such uh, but it works pretty well Okay, let's see what's going on. So you are feeling as though you're being very manipulated and controlled in whatever relationship you are in. If you are in a relationship, it seems as though, uh, you know, that person is pulling all the strings and you're having to jump according to their needs. So you are feeling a very restricted, but you're feeling as though they're very much in control of what you do, maybe even how you think, um, you know, and you want to end that situation. You've got the, uh, in Pluto, in um, Scorpio over here, so there is a bit of control issues going on over here, but it seems like you're the one that's dancing to the other person's tune. So it might be, you know, you might um, be catering to their needs rather than looking after yourself. So um, you've got this card of the, um, you know, this is the card of the Furies. So this is about something happening very suddenly, uh, shocking, something shocking coming in, um, you know, and it might not be really, you know, it might be uh, very difficult news or it might be something that some, that person does that really shocks and stuns you and has you uh, uh, very afraid or very, very upset about something. So some kind of event coming in. This is almost like the Tower card where something uh, happens that leaves you very upset, very uh, disorientated. Now you've got this card about, you know, waiting for things to change here. So you are sitting and waiting for uh, things to improve or things to get better. You're trying to isolate yourself from everybody else. You're doing a lot of praying. This is the end of that cycle. So it looks like that's the last quarter of the moon over here. So this particular cycle is ending. But you, you seem to be, um, you know, spending a lot of time maybe by yourself contemplating, but also waiting for things to happen. Uh, you know, you're trying to reach out to, for help uh, from people around you. And you are, are trying to do a lot of... Um, maybe prayer, meditation, or getting in, in touch with your higher self, but it seems like you are going deep within and waiting for things to happen. So in the past, you've got this card of our restriction, and this is feeling very, um, you know, uh, imprisoned by this particular person, as though they are trying to control you. And there are two cards over here. You've got that marionette card over here about this person pulling all the strings and controlling you, and also this card about being very, very uh, confined or very, very, um, you know, 
restricted where this person is not allowing you or that situation is not allowing you to move out of it. So you are feeling very stuck in uh, or you have been feeling very stuck in the last year in that particular situation that you've been dealing with. And this has led to a lot of depression. So the last three months or so has been, you know, you've got... Uh, this card of uh, feeling very, very, very depressed, not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and not being able to move out of a difficult situation and thinking a lot as well. And then you've got this uh, card about, uh, you know, where you have um, both of you are moving in your own way, in your own different directions. Uh, it seems like, uh, you know, you've got uh, one set of ideals and the other person has another and you're not really um, seeing eye to eye and maybe there is a bit of separation over here where that vision that you both shared, uh, you know, is not there anymore. You're all about doing different things. You're all moving in different directions in your lives, maybe different directions even in your careers or you have different ideas about what you want. And this has been playing on your mind that you're all growing apart. So going to the future, you've got this card of the fallen king, and this is about feeling very disempowered, uh, that, you know, you have, uh, there's no, none of your contributions to this relationship are being recognized. Maybe this person is not really uh, listening to you at all. Uh, they're making a mockery about everything that you're doing, and you feel very, very disempowered. You're trying to communicate with them, but this, uh, you know, it's, it's not working. And it seems like, you know, the personal power that you had uh, or whatever personal power you have and your confidence is very, very low at this particular moment. You are doing a lot of self-reflection as well uh, because you've got the sun in Leo over here. So this is about thinking about, uh, you know, um, this is a lack of confidence, but also thinking a lot uh, on a very deep level. You've got the mirror there reflecting yourself. So, uh, you know, you are looking into yourself to try and find answers as well. You are trying to communicate with this person, but this is a card about feeling, uh, you know, very disempowered as though, you know, you don't have any control of that situation at all. So what's happening with you? You've got blessings coming in over here. So there, it looks like, you know, um, you know, the universe is on your side. Things are going to be moving on for you and you've got uh, some kind of luck coming in over here. There is going to be a change of uh, circumstances over here and things look like they will start improving for you. Um, so uh, what's going on around you really? Oh, maybe, you know, what you thought you wanted from this relationship may have been uh, not based in reality. Now, this is almost like that Don Quixote looking at rainbows, you know, having a vision about what he wanted from this relationship. Maybe what you wanted uh, was too idealistic out of this relationship. Maybe, you know, um, it wasn't um, going to go that way. Maybe your standards that you set have been too high. Uh, you know, maybe you have to bring them down a little bit uh, in this relationship if you want to pursue this relationship. Because what you wanted from this relationship, what you envisioned for this relationship is not working out at all. And this has left you, you know, uh, completely powerless. It, you feel as though, you know, you're worn out. You've been defeated almost. You've got this man sitting over here on the ground, this knight sitting on the ground, but, you know, the vision that he had that he was going to do everything and, you know, you were invincible and this was going to work out in this particular way, you are going to have uh, this and that by this time, you know, whatever constraints you set on the relationship seems uh, to have not worked out. And it seems like, you know, uh, it's almost as though that vision you had for that relationship or what you envisioned uh, you wanted for yourself has not worked out the way you wanted it to. Now, you're also feeling as though this person is now draining your energy. This is the Psychic Vampire card, and this is about uh, feeling as though whatever's going on over here is taking a lot more than, than you can give. Uh, and it's a very toxic kind of connection to this person, uh, maybe a codependent relationship. But whatever this person uh, is to you, they're drawing a lot of your energy. And maybe this is the reason why they're disempowering you, because they're drawing a lot of your energy from you. Maybe there's a lot of drama that is going on, and that is making you very, very tired. So uh, going to the future, um, you've got a new vision that is coming up. So maybe you have new plans now. You will get through difficult situations and it looks like you're trying to find that balance back in your life again. Uh, you know, and you're trying to, uh, you know, get over um, the situation. So whatever is going through your mind, you are trying to, to um, you know, get yourself back in balance again and you're trying uh, to have a new vision for the future. Maybe you met somebody and maybe there's, there's some kind of offer that is coming in for you. But maybe there's somebody that you uh, admire from a distance as well. So maybe you have now trying to change, um, you know, the direction in which you are moving. Uh, 
it's this is the card about being mundane, you know, doing the everyday things. So it seems like the both of you are getting on with yourselves. You seem to be li leading different lives. Um, you know, you seem to be doing your thing. That person seems to be doing their thing. Uh, and you don't seem to be interacting very much at all with each other. There's a sense of being bored, a sense of everything being dull. And, you know, it doesn't seem that like there's any excitement left in this relationship. And you are feeling very depressed and very isolated and very alone. And it seems like everything that you wanted, the vision that you had, the stability, it doesn't seem to be there anymore. Maybe this person leaves you alone by yourself a lot and you're crying a lot. Uh, you know, you've got that broken mirror over here, so you're not very happy at all. So there's a very, uh, you know, you're at a very, very much at a low. You know, things are going on uh, and you don't seem to be able to connect. You're not connecting with this person at all. Uh, you know, you do want that stability and that life, and this is what you want. But it seems like, you know, you're not getting it because this person is leaving you all by yourself. And, uh, you know, they're not there to support you. And you are feeling very lonely, very depressed, and very isolated. So you need to get out of that energy. This is, a, a, you know, things are going to change over here. You've got this card about, uh, you know, blessings coming in for you. So it looks like the universe is going to bring in something that is going to be different, that is going to change things. Maybe, you know, you should um, stop having expectations of the relationship and let's and you know see uh, where it goes if you want this to continue maybe you know you need to um, to get that personal power back you are waiting for things to happen and you are feeling very very controlled uh, within this relationship it seems and right very very down really so let's see what the uh, archangel power tarot has got to say So it's got the King of Ariel over here. It says your plans, plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, and use your resources wisely. So it looks like, um, you know, you need, this is the King of um, Earth, which is the King of Ariel. So it looks like you need to take your personal power back and get your control back and maybe start focusing on your work, focusing on yourself, foc focusing on, um, you know, taking your mind off that emotional um, imbalance that you are going through at the moment. You have the Queen of Ariel over here, which says nurture yourself and those you have, the ability to to make everything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So this might be <coughs> that you need to actually speak to somebody about how to get out of the situation. And, and, you know, get some practical advice because Capricorn at the end of the day is a practical sign. It's an earth sign. So you need to get some, get advice about what to do, what you can practically do to get out of it, you know, rather than having all these visions and, uh, you know, desires and setting, you know, you need to set a new intention, you need to actually start doing things physically and bring yourself out of any kind of depression that you're going through. And you've got the Serena of Raphael, which says, time to make a decision, be clear on what you want, take action, a need for detoxification. So you do need to make some kind of decision. You know, sitting and waiting maybe for things to happen is not going to be, is not bringing any results and it's making you more and more depressed it makes it's making you feel very very isolated because both of these cards you can see this person is very very isolated very alone uh, and waiting for things to happen is not going to be the way to move forward it seems like you know you might be bored everything is dull it doesn't seem like there's much support in the situation so you need to get physically active you need to get some advice and you need to get yourself back into power again you have been uh, disempowered in this situation, you need to claim back this personal power. And, uh, you know, you have to become the king of Ariel, uh, which is successful, stable. So you need to take your focus, refocus, find yourself a goal, find yourself a hobby, find yourself something to do that gets you out into the world, speaking to people and opens up avenues of communication with other people. And that will bring in opportunities and maybe get you unstuck from this particular situation. Also, you know, let it, don't have expectations of, of a relationship it will be what it is, um, and, uh, you know, you need to be more realistic in what you expect out of it. Uh, you know, everybody is fallible. Uh, you know, don't expect this person to be uh, delivering everything that you need. Um, you know, sometimes you need to make comp compromises or, um, you know, and if you can't, then it's best to get out of some a situation before it escalates into something worse. And it does seem like the two of you are moving in your own way. So maybe it's time for you now to pursue your own interests and pursue looking after yourself uh, rather than worrying about anybody else. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.